drive. This is called Daniel CrossFit Helvetics uh, Mobility 101. Last week we were checking the shoulder um, external rotation and this week we want to have a look on hip flexion. This is to improve the squat. As we've learned last week, uh, mobility is about activity, mobility is about strength first and we want to increase the quality of your movement and uh, this can be done by a simple passive range forward. Okay, so how do I do it? Um, Attach your hand to something you can hold on to. I bring my knee as high as possible to my chest to give it a real stretch over here. And as soon as I think I find my deepest stretch position or my highest position, I let go the leg and try to keep it where it is. That's the passive range hold. Drei, zwei, eins. Then I try to stretch again, so get a little bit more stretch. You can feel contraction on your glutes over here, they're firing. I need to really tuck over here and tuck over here, get a little bit higher and repeat. Again, release but stretch, get a little bit more stretch, hardest part, number three, let's go. Switch sides, do exactly the same thing with my left leg, do it this way so you can see it. When I stretch, I try to keep my chest up and my upper body as upright as possible. So I want to avoid this to happen. So I go there, get into my stretching position and I contract. Relax. Get a little bit higher with the knee and don't forget to squeeze the lemon on this side over here, okay? The full contraction, law of irradiation, as much muscle contraction as possible. Let's go. Okay, one more. Try to get a little higher and hold. great for those who have probably tight hip flexors, maybe you have low back pain um, or a physio or a doctor told you that you uh, need to stretch your hip flexors because they're tight. So maybe your hip flexor is tight because it's weak. Think about it. So in addition there are, uh, like I said, other positions where you can strengthen your hip flexors. For example, um, if you're tired of the standing version, you can do a seated version, which would be like this. One leg is straight and one knee is flexed. I try to bring my chest up, my back is straight and long and I stretch over here so my foot comes off and then I try to hold this position. I would repeat the same stretch and contract cycle as we had in the standing position and uh, another option would be um, the straight position, so straight leg, I'm still working on the same hip, on the same side over here. This is my hip flexor working. Now I bring this leg as close as possible and I try to lift the straight leg off the ground. And relax. Um, and I will repeat the same cycle over here. Remember, we want to have this full length on our spine and be careful, lifting the leg as high as possible might result in some cramping over here on your quads. So how long, how often should you do it? Um, I would recommend uh, when you start uh, three sets of 10 second contraction each and then stretch in between. You can expand the time to 15 seconds of max contraction and even extend the sets from three to four to five, depending on whether you only work on one side or you really work on both sides of your hips. Not only great for the hip flexor itself, but also for the glutes on the other side, uh, which contributes to the quality of your squat. Don't forget to reassess and recheck the squat after that. You will feel a big difference. And don't forget to stay tuned and see you next week. Bye-bye.